whole lot avatar in one of the rich dad series of books mr kiyosaki was asked by his rich dad to come up with a plan to be secure in retirement he was instructed on top of that to make a plan to be comfortable in retirement and he was asked also to make a plan to be rich in retirement if your mentor said to come up with these three plans what ideas would you respond with Take a minute and think about that, Avatar. Maybe a plan to be secure in retirement could be a 401k in Social Security. How about a plan to be comfortable, including some long-term buy-and-hold growth stocks that you held since yesterday? It would seem to me a plan to be rich in retirement would include building and later selling e-commerce businesses or other businesses before you retire. In traditional retirement planning, it is suggested to plan on having an approximately four-legged stool of retirement. The first leg includes Social Security, although its solvency is in question. Second, you'd have pensions, although few are offered anymore and many were looted. IRAs and regular accounts, and if we can add crypto to that, could be the third leg of the retirement stool. Royalties and any other passive income, including real estate, could be the fourth leg of the uh, retirement stool. Now, to be able to do any of these plans, you must be able to hang on to some cash and not head to Hawaii every time you, see, you receive a large check. I'm not saying not to travel or party, but I believe we should save at least 30% of our incomes that we receive. We need to believe that we can save 20% of our income and travel and donate to worthy causes. Not acting rich is a big plus. Thinking big is a big plus. Coming home from work and minding your own business is key to retiring rich, if you ask me. Being able to buy well-chosen shares during panics and recessions is a plus. Some people are not wired to do this. Keep friends who discourage saving and investing at a distance. It's a huge plus to know what organizations their trails lead to. It's huge to understand the fullest judgment of the matrix. It's entirely possible, considering inflation, that your standard of living won't be as high as you'd like in retirement. So working more and investing more in your 20s is my main re rem remedy. Let's talk about stocks for a minute. If you are certain you want to retire with more than security, you need individual stocks. You might need a good investing newsletter or a stockbroker. You also have the options of working major overtime or starting a business. In theory, this sounds easy. Again, buy the best companies when the market has a scary drop. Research several companies every week and aim to own 10 to 20 shares of the best you know of. Continue to hold your selections until your thesis or reasons for owning the shares are proven wrong. If the stock goes down along with the market, that's not, not, necessarily, that's not necessarily a reason to sell. What I mean is if a company isn't going to get acceptance of its product, or other companies do get their products accepted, accepted, then you sell. Let me show you one example. I own some shares of Unity, ticker, the letter U. Unity makes software for virtual reality. If another company comes along and beats them to providing software for VR platforms, then I sell. You can own competitors. People who owned Yahoo and Google 20 years ago found value in this strategy. There are tards who would, fake, who would spread fake news on well-researched well stock picks, so you might hold tight and even buy a few more shares when a stock is punished unfairly by the market. You can't do this unless you have some cash on the sidelines or if you, you buy into your enemy's narrative about not saving and researching or just simply going around pilfering and mooching off poorly advising political, social, 
you and I have enemies, whether we whether we admit it or not. Whether we kiss their ass and pay off local kingpins or not is another matter. Now let's talk about several ways to save money for retirement. First, avoid spending too much money on any type of course or info program. That doesn't mean not to read or get invest investing newsletters. If an info product can be written off on your taxes, this could be okay. Second, a credit card that charges up to 28% interest has no place in your finances if you ever want to retire. Third, avoid donating to pressure groups and political, political parties. I would make to token donations to candidates you like. Do make reasonable donations to homeless shelters and the like, especially if you get a deduction. Fourth, keep wannabe, maf keep wannabe mafia gangsters away from you and your kids. Do not outsource the raising of your kids. This invites bigger trouble than you may think. Fifth, go to the wrong church and you may, you may be accused of signing a vow of poverty or other nonsense. My uncle was once head of, the, head of one of the synods of the Lutheran church. This had a negative effect on me when he accepted the position. Before my uncle died, he said Ayn Rand was bad and the nanny state was good. Why do you suppose the GOP has such poor outings with boosters like churches? Why donate to the Republican Party if they choose pastors to help out and reject people like college Republicans? 6. Don't spend too much on cars. Working remotely should help save money. 7. Avoid living in places where there are new, where there are new, where there are few jobs. Eighth, never admit to starting a business, even, even though gurus start yelling, still startups suck. Don't announce it. And finally, never crowdsource financial investment or legal questions ever. The sooner you start stashing cash and implementing some ideas at mastermind-university.com the sooner you can walk away from toxic networks. Standing up for yourself can be very scary. Let's talk about a few resources you could use. Of course, there is MMU itself with a pretty good page on wealth building, wealth building ideas and some calculators you can use. The top eight finance books we chose for you are, are listed on each page. You might read a Kindle ebook called Outshine the Master. This will help you decide if you want to be a man of value or a limp-wristed sheeple with anxiety and conflicting interests, conflicting interests that literally cause migraines. Even considering the, so the current social, legal, and business environments, you might find forming a small, closed, informal mastermind group of some value.